What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to Living Life Fast and today join me for another track day in the 720S. We are back at Silverstone GP. Some of you know I've already done this track but today we're doing it with McLaren. So the last time we did a McLaren track day was at Donington. As you can see we've got McLarens, McLarens, you can literally only be, look there's a 765 LT, no nope, that was a 720, my apology, but we've got Senna's, 620R, 600 LT, 765, 720s, I'm really really excited, Silverstone is one of my all time favourite tracks, uh, I've actually got a one to one coach with me, so he's going to be dialing me and getting me to drive this car as fast as I possibly can, we're definitely going to try work on lap times today, so yeah, enjoy the video. Brad, you're going to be looking after me today? Yeah, so yeah. I drew the short straw and I'm going to be looking after you all day. So yeah, so you're on yeah. the uh, sort of owner's performance course, so yeah. we'll be going into data and video analysis of, of your driving throughout the day yeah. and trying to improve your driving and get, the, get the most out of the car. And how long have you been doing this? A long time. So long time. I, I mean, I've been racing over 20 years. Oh, wow. Um, 10, 12 years I've been coaching. So I've been with McLaren most of those years as yeah. well. So I've been, driven and yeah. uh, most of their cars. Sick. You've had your briefing now, obviously we'll, we'll go out um, in a moment when we just get your, your tyres fitted. I'll get you to drive probably slowly to start off with and I'll just talk you through everything that, yeah. bit that I want you to do. And then we'll just break the rest of the day down into sessions. Yeah. Um, 15, 20 minutes on track at a time, come in, we'll go sit down at a laptop, down in hospitality, and we'll analyse all your um, your data that's collected uh, and the sick. video. I'm so excited. Uh, yeah, and we can uh, you got to calm see, me down. See, see, see what's good and see what's bad. <laughs> yeah, and try and try and improve the bad bits and keep you doing the good bits. Sorry, I'm filming on the GoPro by the way because uh, I forgot my main camera. Only two cars that are bothering me, giving me sleepless nights. One of these and a GT3. Right, look, we have got LLF Joe, yo, part of the squad. The game is changing. Look at this, man. Is that an LC 600? Mate, I've been racing for like 22 years. <laughs> yeah, got my helmet, got my bag, got the Trofeo R's actually going on, brand spanking new. So we've got fresh pads on. Right, so guys, we are going out for the first session. We have actually already been out, uh, but we kind of was bedding in the brakes, uh, getting a little idea. We did check some data, didn't we? Yeah, and we've got a few corrections we're going to do now. We looked at the data just to go over a few little areas but you know we didn't really push too hard I'll analyze your driving how you naturally drive yeah. and then we'll, we'll go from there right let's do this so um, it's gonna be gradual with the brakes again yeah yeah gradual with the brakes gradually building up temperature in the brakes over, over a lap two laps same with the tires so where we reset the tire pressures after the first session and they've gone cold now the pressures have dropped down to like 1.6 bar so yeah. we want them to be a little bit higher before we start pushing on them uh, and, and using any curbs just so we don't damage the sidewalls of the tyre. Now it 
we don't slow the car down on the initial brake enough so then we have to hold a little bit too much brake pressure at the initial turn phase and then we have to bleed out the brakes quite quickly so, so i need to smash the brakes even harder initially you're saying yeah yeah so far on your very final lap that you drove we you did a 217.0 a theoretical like an ideal lap time here of, a, of the 16.58 so yeah. pretty pretty close to your ideal. I think that final lap was probably our only clear lap. The, the main things I, I can spot here, especially at turn one, is that you're very quick from the release of your brake mm. to throttle. It's almost instantaneous. Mm. So we just need a little bit more time to allow the car to rotate and turn into the corner. So once you finish your braking, just allow the car to roll for a few meters, allow the car to turn before you pick up the throttle, because all you're doing is just overloading the tires a little bit, and it's just pushing us past our apex. So if I just move the, the video forward a little bit, Ollie here is a little bit closer to the apex, but also a little bit faster at the apex. Yeah. So he's, he's managed to do a tighter line at a slightly higher speed. Mm. And all that comes from is that you're too quick off brakes to the throttle, and it yeah, just yeah. literally almost sits the car down, lifts the front tyres off the ground slightly mm. and pushes the car wide. Right. And that's delaying you. I mean, your brake trace is much better than we saw earlier, so you're actually trailing the brakes in now. Yeah. And all I'd say, actually, the big thing on this one, we're probably trailing the brakes in a little bit too far. Right. Um, and that's why you're then trying to get back on the throttle because you feel like you've overslowed I've the car speed, a little bit. Yeah, yeah. And you're like, oh, I've got to rush back onto the throttle. Right. But then you've now lost speed on the way in and probably mm. lost efficiency on the way out. So. You, you, you're losing both sides of the corner, basically. Last bit of advice before we go out. Initial brake needs to be harder, stronger. Yeah. And then just be a bit more patient in the middle of the corner. So just, just don't feel like you need to rush the middle of the corner. Yeah. And let's be a bit more efficient on the exits. Okay.
approach that a little bit quicker, then you just lift it a bit too much in the middle of the corner to just prepare a bit better. But understanding you're going in quicker, the yeah. lift might need to be that bit early. We've done a little yeah. bit, little bit quicker. I can see quite a bit quicker. A couple yeah. of seconds faster. So we did a 15-1 that time. Although our brake shape and the, and the, and the trace is looking better, so we're still not committed to the initial hit. Right. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. yeah. We, we always have a bit of a step, and then you commit. So mm. one here that really highlights it, just just coming into this corner here, just, just zoomed in a little bit. You go to hit your your peak pressure. See so all the uh, the red one here, mm. but then you you back off from it then you go for your peak afterwards even on this lap there's a small step here at turn one it's sort of a build up and then you go for your peak pressure again at the next corner a bit of a build up and then you go for your peak so we just literally need to be going back straight to our peak peak brake pressure so that's one thing there that, mm. that we need to improve globally in your driving also the other thing is still throttle control so the, there's a corner here that highlights it. So this is the slow left-hand hairpin. This is the throttle trace here. You get on the, the throttle a little bit too early. Mm. In fact, and the data reference from Ollie here, he does the exact same. But he realizes it's too early, and you can see the black trace, it comes back oh. off the throttle. Right. So he comes off to allow the car to turn. Okay. Whereas you've maintained that throttle, just delays you on, on exit. We lose a little bit of speed. So if I come here to the exit, now your exit speed, he's now been able to accelerate more efficiently on the exit. He's up at 67 Ks, you're still down at 62. So whenever you're on the throttle before the apex, and it's not quite coming into the corner, mm. just ease off the throttle ever so slight to bring the from back to where yeah, you want it to and the then, two and for then that accelerate well. out a bit a bit more efficiently but yeah no really good improvements 25 minutes left of the day yeah. so i think we head back to the car yeah and uh just just go and tidy it all up and just work on those few little bits you know and, and try and uh, get a few nice laps in
both oil and water temperature. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's what I keep trying to tell them. It's been in twice now. Well, it's only going to amber. Yeah, that's what they said. If it goes amber, they said it's all right. Yeah. Just going to go back. Into sport mode, this is actually going to be a temperature readout, right? So, uh, rather than just a color. So, there's a good and bad bits about that session. <laughs> the bad bit is we didn't go faster on a lap. Yep. The good bit is, theoretically, we should have gone faster. So our ideal lap time is a little bit quicker than the previous okay. session's ideal. Okay. So our sectors were a little bit better, but we never put the lap together. So it was a bit scrappy and we started to lose our technique towards the end there. Mm. So yeah. So the, so the two laps, clean laps, were they two clean laps as well or got? Uh, we as had, in line, to your fastest lap with that 16.2, the mm. first two corners, we overtaking a car. Okay. So okay. already- I'm happy with that. Compared to yourself, mm. so compared to your previous, uh, so yeah. your 15 one. Mm. Well, this is this was one of the laps where we didn't quite get our brake pressure right. And you could, if you look, <laughs> we look into this corner at the end of the straight, mm. how hard you've been braking compared to the reference, you know, yeah. and yeah. you held it. That's your hardest brake pressure you've hit all day, and okay. you and you're at it as you're about to turn in so the car would have been very unstable right. and moving around a lot so. theoretical lap time was a 2.14.64 yes that's correct as you guys can see I don't know but previously it was a 14.8 so there's mm. the half a second almost yeah, two tenths <laughs> <laughs> well seeing that we're close to doing 14s mm. you know and if we tied it up a little bit I'd jump out you, I think you could do a 12 straight away well now thank you so much for like you know giving no me a hand today it's been good fun yeah it's been awesome been anyway. holding on tight <laughs> Anywhere people can find you, have you got any social or anything like that? Or? Uh, yeah, I'm on Instagram, uh, bradyellis01, I've got a little Instagram account. No, Post no, little really. race cars on there and stuff. And yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, cool man. Well, till next time. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, sweet. Right, so we are back at the unit and what an awesome day. Shout out to McLaren. I'm not sure if I said at the beginning, but like when you do turn up to these McLaren events, they proper check over your car, make sure the tyre pressures are all set. Just check your oil and make sure that the car isn't going to have any issues on track. And every time you actually finish doing a set of laps, they give it once over again, they readjust your tyre pressures. And then when we finish, they clean the car up, they pump the tyres back up. They told me that um, I've actually done a whole front set of pads. They were brand spanking new for today. I put on the Trofeo R's brand new today. They cost £1,400, so £200 of fuel. We reckon I did about 40 laps. So 40 laps at Silverstone. 200 pounds. Learned so much about Silverstone, my absolute favorite track. I thought I knew how to drive it, but clearly not. If there's anything I get gassed about, it's lap times. I absolutely love lap times, man. I know some people are not really that interested, but I'm gonna end it there. As always, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit the thumbs up, subscribe if you're new to the channel, and I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching, bye.